my daughter's favorite pancake recipe and it's homemade and it starts with two cups of flour and she eats every pancake I ever make of these buttermilk pancakes so you must try them <laughs> next you'll need three tablespoons of sugar I will link the recipe down below for you if you're interested in making it this is another way I like to create I like to bake I like to just do fun things like this next is two teaspoons of baking soda with your whisk you'll want to whisk your ingredients right here I am going to do some type of vlogmas this year and uh, I might throw in some baking videos so this is just a little sneak peek now you're on to your wet ingredients which is two and one fourth cup of buttermilk into a separate bowl I am very much about exact measurements and that is true with baking as well every ingredient is a measurement on purpose so measure everything out and it will taste amazing we thrifted this mixer and I love it next is two large eggs at room temperature and I never once get a shell in my bowl I just like to watch videos like this it's calming next is one teaspoon of vanilla vanilla always adds so much flavor to anything and sometimes I'll add it even if it doesn't call for it so mix these ingredients until they're all combined and uh, about this mixer we paid $27 and it is still running and it's an old-time <laughs> mixer no KitchenAid here <laughs> but anyway back to the ingredients you'll need four tablespoons of butter now you can choose unsalted butter or you can choose salted which I did and I melted it <clears throat> and then I will leave out the salt ingredient in this because I use salted butter slowly drizzle butter into your wet ingredients here slowly mixing the melted butter and we're about done with the wet ingredients and I did speed this part up and this is the dry ingredients that you add to your wet ingredients and yes I could have used my mixer but I this pancake mix is supposed to be a little thicker and there's gonna be a little bit of flour that doesn't quite combine but that's the way these buttermilk pancakes are so if it's a little thick and lumpy it's still gonna be some really great pancakes and I bought this off of Timu and we'll see how this really works and let me tell you it works but yet not for this thick of batter see how thick it is this little Timu pancake dispenser worked but yet I couldn't make perfectly round pancakes as you'll see soon so always butter use butter spray or butter for your pan heat it up before you start all of your starting of the pancakes and here's I I tried to make a round pancake by just adding and it did not turn out round <laughs> but stay tuned I did get creative at the end of this video <laughs> so wait until you see a lot of bubbles and unfortunately I use this giant pancake 
spatula and uh, it was a major fail as you're about to see right here. <laughs> I left it in. This is real life. I don't make perfect pancakes all the time, as you'll be able to see. And this dispenser does not make perfectly round ones if your batter is this thick. <laughs> but let me tell you, it's not always about looks, it's about taste for me. I think I didn't destroy this one. And when I flip it over, it almost looked like, you'll see, it looks like a flower almost with all the little circles and the... So yeah, I have a flower pancake. <laughs> See how thick it is? It's not the best dispenser for pancake batter this thick, but it is what it is. This time I was making a little bit bigger, but yeah, again, the shape. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are, Give me a like and subscribe down below. And this one also turned out to look like a pancake rose, almost. Unintentional accidents turn into creative things for me. Going a little faster now. I did three smaller ones. Sometimes my daughter likes the littler pancakes. Speeding up. And uh, those are not the greatest pancakes, but now we're on to the hearts that I decided to make. With this is a gadget I got from Timu, I believe. And one thing I didn't do was spray it with butter spray to help from the sticking. But I'm just moving it around in the heart and you'll see how this came, comes out here in a second. I was scared. <laughs> I pulled it up and then, yeah, you could see what happened. I think I put too much batter in and I didn't spray the heart. <laughs> but it still turned out to be a heart on that bottom side. So I do a little fixing, obviously, for these hearts. <laughs> Next time I did spray the heart. I did put a little bit less batter in here just to see if that would help. Here is my second attempt of the heart. And additional batter spillage again. So I thought, well, I can fix this. So I decided that on that first one, I cut around the edges. And I did the same thing with this one. And even though it was a little time consuming, it turned out really cute. This was a happy accident, as Bob Ross would say. <laughs> it is a teeny tiny pancake that dripped outside the heart. So I was being funny and like made a tiny miniature pancake here. It is that tiny. I pulled out my tiny spatula from Dollar Tree. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can be funny sometimes, I can't help it. So now this is the third try and it's even worse. <laughs> but you can still see the shape and I cut them and they turned out so cute. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video of my homemade pancakes and if you did give me a thumbs up like subscribe let me know if you're gonna make these and until next video i'll talk to you soon bye for now